All right, guys, it's the NFL postseason, but picking player props for Sunday games, it never stops. Your boy, he had a pretty solid regular season, finishing 27 and 22 with these player prop picks, which means he's been winning. It's like my director Joe says, you got to be in the green to win that green. That's exactly what we're going to continue to do in the postseason. So this week for Wild Card Weekend, I'm going to give you my three favorite player prop picks for the Sunday slate of games. And we've got a bit of a theme here with value betting on role players this week. So we're going to start off in Buffalo. Well, the Bills host the Dolphins. And look, guys, I don't think the Dolphins have much of a chance here. Why? Because they're starting Skylar Thompson under center. But guys, you don't have to bet on Miami to win to get paid. You can bet on the Dolphins tight end Mike Gesicki. Though Gesicki's receiving yards line is set at 17 and a half this week. And you're probably wondering why so low a number. Well, Gesicki hasn't really done much this season, catching just 11 passes in his last nine games. However, the one game he played with Thompson at QB, he caught four passes for 46 yards. He's also cleared 17 and a half yards in six of the 13 games he played with Tua Tungavaioa under center and cleared it in all four games with Thompson or Teddy Bridgewater getting the start at QB. He's averaged 40 yards per game in the non-Tua starts. So yeah, Gimme Gesicki, over 17 and a half yards receiving. Then we take it to the Twin Cities in Minneapolis where the Giants will visit the Vikings. I've said this all season long, we know the Giants offense is Saquon Barkley and the Vikings pass defense is suspect. Actually, we know everybody can pass on them. I see the G-men being able to move the ball just like they did in their Christmas Eve loss to Minnesota. Big Lou wideout Richie James, he had himself quite the game in week 16. Against the Vikes, he recorded season highs in targets with 11, catches 8, and yards 90. Now peep the numbers for James over his last four games. He's averaging six and a half catches a game for just over 67 yards with a team high 25% target share. So look for Daniel Jones to look for Mr. James in this matchup. James's receiving yards line is 47 and a half. Don't sleep on this one, guys. I'd even be willing to play this up to 50 and a half. Book the over. And lastly, we go to the Natty, where the Bengals host the division rivals. That would be the Baltimore Ravens. And now for this prop, Unless you are a fan of the Bengals or a Stanford alum, we're going with a name you may have never heard of. That is Bengals' fourth wide receiver, Trenton Irwin. The Cincinnati wideout emerged in a passing game late in the season. Check this. Since week nine, Irwin has made at least one catch in every game for an average of 15.4 yards per reception. The receiving yards line for Mr. Irwin is 5.5 yards. Now, I know you're like, that's a low number, and it should only take about one catch. But that's where the value is in this prop with odds around minus 120. In eight of the nine games, Irwin has been active in this season. He has gone over five receiving yards in, those, in that time, eight of the nine games. The only concern here is that he averages 2.6 targets per game. But I like the fact that he makes the most of his targets. So I'm rocking with Irwin over the low number, five and a half receiving yards. There you have it. Your player prop picks for Wild Card Sunday. Let's do this, guys. To start the postseason off with winning vibes, and we'll see you with picks in the divisional round.